Sure. And also a tortilla, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll get a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hey folks, and welcome back to Pattaya. As the title of the video would indicate, today we are going to try three different cuisines here in Pattaya. Pattaya is home to many different cuisines, some of which I didn't even know existed here. And I'm, as I moved here, I'm, I'm finding out more and more. So I guess once in a while we'll, we'll go and look at some different cuisines. It doesn't oft, always have to be Thai food or, or you know burgers and ribs and that kind of stuff but anyway we're on our way to the first one down here now the first one I've known about it's uh, a favorite of mine and I've been to one or two other places in the area that sell it but this one we're pulling up now I, I think this one's gonna be special so it's called three B's so for today's ethnic food it's Mexican one of my favorites I just learned about this place never been here before not far off Patia Thai, South Patia. So go in and uh, order up some some specialties. So yeah, we'll take a look at the menu. First thing I was surprised to see is a breakfast burrito. They are open for breakfast here in the morning. We're on Soy Kopai today by Soy Kopai 9. This place is a little bit hard to find if you don't know where it is. So I'm going to put the GPS coordinates in the description below. It's the kind of place you would ride by. It's a little bit unremarkable from the outside, but that's not to say the food's unremarkable. That's, that, would some, that would definitely be an understatement. Food is very remarkable. But anyway, we'll get into that as the food comes, but here's some of the menu offerings. Uh, all types of different uh, Mexican fare, burritos, tacos, you name it. Even some kind of specialty items on there. So I ordered up a small beef burrito. I wanted to try as many things as I could. I know if I got the big beef burrito, that would be it. <laughs> it would sink me. So I got the small beef burrito, a chips and salsa, and a Spanish rice. Spanish rice, Mexican rice, not sure. Um, so I have a little bit of a platter here and be able to uh, kind of taste the variety of things. So we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. So yeah, there's a food panda sign. Food panda is an app like Grab where it's a delivery service. You order the food, they bring it to you. And on Food Panda, this restaurant, 3B's, is supposed to be like the most popular independent, meaning kind of mom and pop, on the platform. So here comes the food, chips, of course they make their own chips here, some, some salsa, homemade salsa there. Everything made here basically, the, the tortillas are made here, the, the black beans, uh, the, the beans for the burritos are made here. It's a long process to soak those and cook those in crock pots. And, the stewed meats and here comes the burrito it's all wrapped up i'll, I'll, I'll unwrap Beautiful. it so we can take a better look at it but the, sh the plate sure looks pretty so there we go all, all wrapped up there just loaded up uh this sauce homemade sauce nothing out of a jar so i think you get the picture by now the, the more of these ingredients that they manufacture themselves the more this restaurant will kind of stand out in the crowd so to speak wow it looks beautiful I got a real platter here, so. Yeah, the, the, the burrito's the small one. I've seen the big one. The big one is huge. Uh, but this, I got the whole platter so I can try different things. So I'm glad I only got the small one. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take care of all this. And whatever I don't finish, I'll take home. <laughs> so, I just finished the meal. Everything was awesome. This is Mickey. He owns the joint. <laughs> wow, boy. <laughs> And with his with his wife, and uh, he's got a special on Tuesdays. Yeah, so every Tuesday we do a Taco Tuesday, which is two uh, tacos, your choice of tacos, chicken pica or pork, that comes with a side of Mexican rice and refried beans. And then every day, every day, Monday through Sunday, from two to six, we do a happy hour with 55 bot bottle of adult beverages and uh, tacos for 55 baht. So if you like tacos, 55 baht tacos, all you can eat. How about that? I'm getting some of that for show. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I should have prefaced all this by saying this whole thing was shot all these segments over like the course of a week almost. Lest anybody think I, I ate all this in one day. Um, probably that was the only uh, it was, it was probably the only meal I had the days I shot these segments. But anyway, the next item up for bids will be vegetarian. Vegetarian cuisine. 
And it's right here on Pattiatai, right third road in Pattiatai, basically right on the corner. It's called Ning's Five Star J. So yeah, this is one I don't know a whole lot about. I know there's vegetarian, I know there's vegan, and they have both here. So I don't know what I'm getting or what's going to be what. I just don't know that much about it. But we're going to go in and, and see what they have. This place is called Ning's, and uh, Ning's Five Star, and there's Ning right inside. So let's go inside and sit down and maybe she'll uh, recommend something off the menu for us. Thank you so much. Spring roll. What's the best? The best. Okay, for starter, it's really excellent. Yeah? Oh, for sure, take this okay. one there. Okay. And also the main course, yes, I think for you is really, really excellent. Oh, sure. So yeah, I asked Ning for some help with the menu. Not because, not, not the only reason, because I'm not that familiar with the food, but the main reason was there's 220 menu uh, offerings there. The menu's like an inch thick. And it's not just uh, vegetarian Thai food. They, they've got a vegetarian lasagna. They've got vegetarian quesadilla. They, they've got all sorts of vegetarian food. We're, we're, we're going to kind of stick more with the, I guess, the vegetarian Thai stuff right now. Just a first visit here, see what that's all about. But uh, she was a big help, great staff. And they're open here from 12 o'clock. I know it's a little bit late to open, but it's lunch and dinner. So like 12 to 9 is what they're open. And they're closed on Wednesdays. That's important. You don't want to turn up on a day when they're closed. But uh, so six days a week, uh, 12 to 9. So they also do delivery. They have a delivery driver. And I think they're on the app called Lineman, uh, not Food Panda, like the last restaurant or Grab. This one's on Lineman. So you can order. <laughs> So all vegetable, right? No, no meat. No, okay. hundred percent. Yes. No meat today, only vegetable. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how that's going to go. A whole vegetable meal, uh, or at least vegetable based, just no meats. But they've been open here for six years. Now, the restaurant, as it sits here, has been open apparently for over 20 years. But Ning's had it for like the last six. In fact, I think her anniversary is coming up in maybe January, she told me. But at any rate, I'll just give you a little quick thumb through the menu here. There's just way too much to show you the whole thing. But uh, I guess I guess it's a an average priced restaurant. Uh, when you consider there's no meat in there, maybe it's a little little bit high because I think the meat is one of the primary ingredients that drives the price up on food. So I'm I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, I thought the price was fair, but uh, with the lack of meat, I just was thinking uh, later like, hey, maybe it should have been a little bit less because meat's expensive. <laughs> but um, so there's a couple things we got. So we got spring rolls coming. We've got some spinach uh, dumplings coming. We've got this uh, masaman shiitake masaman coming. That looks really good. That that's what she recommended. The other thing is they let you choose the level of spice. So she gave me like a one through five. I said, well, make ours a four. So that's not the spiciest, but. Uh, it also should be should have a nice uh, nice bite to it. So, the food's starting to come out now and quick. I could we ordered a lot of stuff. We ordered about four different things and and, and also two different types of rices, a red rice and a, and a black rice, and they came out quick. So here's the spring rolls. They they look about pretty much w what I've seen before. Uh, pretty decent though. And these are these spinach little spinach dumplings. They were awesome in the sauce great couldn't have, couldn't ask for anything better than that i really recommend that I, I believe she recommended that as well so sometimes it pays to ask you know hey what's the what's the best thing you got going what's one of the more popular items and here's the masaman coming oh, look at this this was thick usually masaman's not that thick this was almost as thick as like an indian curry and just as flavorful i tell you and it looks like it's meat in there who would have thought it's mushrooms the food's coming out it's beautiful it smells good can't wait to dig in. Wow. Here comes V short, some kind of soup. Okay. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Good. <laughs> nice. Very nice.
Yeah, I tell you, uh, Ning was a was a great host. Now, the rice we got here, this is what they call the red rice, and then V had what's what's known as the black rice. And now I know they almost look the same color here on camera. Even in person, it was just a, a negligible difference, but that's what it is, red versus black, just a kind of different grain. Now, V ordered that soup there. It's a tom yum. It's like a tom yum soup with... Uh, without any kind of seafood or chicken or anything, just with uh, vegetable offerings, but really tasty. And I think she ended up eating about half of my masaman, and she's usually not a big curry person. But this was so good. That masaman curry was so good, she just couldn't help herself. Probably the best one I've ever had. So I think that was worth the price of admission right there, just that masaman. I did see some... Did see some other uh, things going on here as well. Like there was a lady sitting behind V here, and she had ordered a, a quesadilla. And there we got a little look. She had about half time. We didn't, and we didn't want to impose, but she was she was lovely. But next time I'm getting that, uh, I'm, I'm going to get that for sure. Now they do have a special here, three fifty nine for a whole platter, soup, salad, and an entree, and with ice cream. So. That's uh, going on to the first of the year. So our last place is here, and it's called The Place. Now, that's the English version. There is, uh, like, a Hebrew writing there, or Yiddish. I I'm not sure if it's the same name in, in, in that language, but it's called The Place in English, right on Sully Bacow, and I never knew that this was here. So this is Israeli food. This is, uh, I guess you could call it kosher food, um, but it's... it's uh, Middle Eastern, definitely. I, I ordered a chicken thigh uh, kebab here, and I tell you, as soon as that came out, uh, the aroma from that just blew me away. But I came with my, my pal Rudy. Uh, about a week ago, I went to the auto show. After the auto show, we, he brought me here, and it was a great, uh, great evening. So I'm just getting the smell of the, the cumin and the paprika from the, from the kebabs, or these chicken thighs. I haven't smelled that in a long time. <laughs> but look at this. We got hummus. We got pita bread. Salads. Moussaka. Moussaka, which is an eggplant, eggplant with beef. Almost like a almost like a comfort food. Something like a lasagna. That's it's like layered and it's got the beef in there. It doesn't have the cheese like a lasagna, but it's eggplant, you know. Uh, fresh salad, olive oil on the table. <laughs> I've been by here a million times and never saw, never noticed it. It just looked like any other place that's called my place, but it's, uh, it's kosher food. It's, it, it's Israeli type food, and it just goes to show you, you can get everything in Padia if you look for it, if you know where to look for it. I've got some other ones coming up, so things you, you might never have thought of. So. <laughs> I'll show you the rest. We're going to go ahead and enjoy it. So yeah, this was a real treat. I haven't had this sort of food in, in ages. Uh, they had, the, they had the, that, that's muzika there. It's like an eggplant with the beef. Uh, they had hummus. They put hummus out. I ate a lot of the hummus with the fresh bread, different kinds of bread, the sauces, the salads. Uh, very, very flavorful, this food. So, you know, you can find it if you know where to look in Patia. This is what I kept saying. Um, I never knew they had an Israeli restaurant here, but here it is. And everything was everything was very tasty, like it should be, I guess. But you know, this is the kind of place that if you don't know where to look for it, I don't know that you'd ever find it because I probably rode by here, I don't know, I don't a hundred times maybe and never really noticed it. Let's see what she's bringing out here. I think she's got some liver there. Now I'm not a big liver fan, but I had a piece of this anyway. And for liver, it was it was good. I'm just not a I'm just not a big liver eater. And there's the pita bread, really legitimate there. Use that with the hummus. Different food. And I could probably walk here in five to ten minutes. It's just right on soy cow. <laughs> yeah, amazing places you don't know about till you go. Whew. I'm stuffed. Stuffed to the gills. <laughs> anyway, it's been a long day. Yeah, they were they were getting ready to close. I believe they close at 10 o'clock, so it was better than 9 at this point. But look at all that. So there you go. Three different kind of cuisines. I tried a, a couple different cuisines. Now, the Mexican cuisine, I, I, I do eat that once in a while. But I have some other ones to do, and I just wanted to throw that in. It is definitely a different uh, ethnic cuisine here. And... 
just recently, within the last couple, two, three years, it's kind of blossomed in Pattaya. Usually you didn't see a lot of that. It's coming more and more. But I think uh, I think the place we went, 3Bs, um, they don't have the, more, the market cornered or anything, but I think it's the best I've had in, in Pattaya yet. So there's that. Uh, and I'll definitely be back to the vegetarian place and maybe back to the Israeli place as well. But uh, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode off here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.